Hey, what's up guys, I'm Nisio Cole, and today we're going to be talking about Arrow Season 8, Episode 6, Reset. Now, this episode was basically just another Groundhog Day episode. We've gotten this, uh, I think Legends was the only other show to do it, and it was the one episode in uh, either Season 3 or 2, I'm pretty sure it was Season 3, where Zari got stuck in that time loop to learn that she needed to stay on the Wave Rider to be able to even have a possibility of saving her brother. But that's just a whole different universe, well, the same universe, but whole different show. We're going to be talking about Arrow in this episode. Remember, guys spoiler anything arrow season 8 so if you don't want to get spoiled or if you do like it then continue but if you don't want to get spoiled then don't watch the video or go back watch the episode and then come back here so at the end of last episode where we left off is where laurel basically dropped the dime and exposed lila for working with the monitor and they were like what they were all surprised you know like lila what have you done why did you do this and not long after that they got tranked by an unknown source probably some you know monitor probably not the monitor just a random you know lila is the director of argus he can get two people three people tranked you know it probably wouldn't be that difficult but they wake up and everything seems a, a little bit off it starts off with oliver waking up and his children come in and are like you know just having a conversation they're like dad aren't you late for that benefit and he's like what benefit you know he's just confused right because he's put in this alternate reality uh one quentin's alive he didn't die back then when he got shot when he was taking the bullet for Laurel back in season six, episode 23. From what I could piece together, everything else went as planned. Quentin still stayed as mayor. Oliver went to prison, but then he got out. So season seven looks like it, you know, it happened. Uh, I'm not so sure about those episodes where Laurel went rogue because if Quentin was still alive, then uh, he probably would have had something to do with that and brought her back from the dark side earlier or just maybe she just didn't go over to the dark side at all. You know, you never know, but that has nothing to do with the episode. But anyways, they found out that Quentin is the reason that the time loop starts over. So if he dies, then the time loop starts over and they need to figure out a way to save him from dying. So first it's a bomb at the precinct and then uh, they find that it's underneath the precinct. Uh, then he gets sniped outside. Then uh, they go to the hideout of whoever hired this guy and that's a dead end too. So uh, they just, you know, they just keep going and going until this one point where Laura's just like, I gotta accept it. I'm sorry, I can't watch Quentin die. I've watched him die probably about seven times already and I can't watch him die again. So he, you know, it, it's nice that she gets that closure that she didn't get uh, when he died originally. I actually do believe this is either uh, like the spirit or the soul of Quentin. You know, uh, a lot of talk about the Paradise Dimension. Don't know what that is. Heard it was mentioned in the um, Arrow Season 7 finale. But I do actually think that was the soul of Quentin playing along in this alternate reality uh, dream dominator technology whatever they were put in this trance they were put in yeah it, it takes a, oliver a little bit longer to realize because you know he's oliver he's stubborn he wants to save quentin right but then after more guards they get locked in this room guards after guards after guards they just re he just realizes that you know it, it there's nothing you can do and he actually steps into the path of the bullet and you know gets shot and dies and then they uh resets one more time and then he goes to quentin goes to the party and he says what made you uh, stop being my enemy all those years ago season three season four when he was chasing him when he hated him you know the hood uh back then he was called or no he was the hood then the arrow then the green arrow but and yeah this is really sentimental talk it honestly this episode was really really good nine out of ten a hundred percent i'm trying to think if there's anything wrong with the episode but i'll do nine and a half out of ten because i don't think it was a perfect episode there was probably something but it was still a really phenomenal episode and if you guys watch the flash too you'll know that this week's episode well spoilers for the flash too but this week's episode of the flash was all about him in a dreamlike state he was taken over by blood work but back to arrow at the end of the episode they wake up and they you know have that little talk and then they walk out the tent realize they're on leon Yu, which is kind of like a perfect end to the series because the week after this uh, i believe is crisis episode one and then that the week after that is the pilot for the um new green arrow on the canary series so it's a really nice touch that it's basically starting where it ended in leon Yu. they've been back to leon Yu. i mean since the first season probably about like five or six times right uh, this is going to be a really really nice touch so apparently everyone's there i watched the trailer at the end of the episode it's uh I, I can't even remember what his name is but john's adopted son mia and william but in the trailer it shows renee and dinah so i'm guessing the entire arrow cast is just going to be on leon you for this episode and it's going to be interesting i wonder how they're going to approach this because they could go like the season five or the hundredth episode approach remember when they were uh in the dominator land and they just revisited a whole bunch of stuff from old seasons but i don't 
I don't think that's what they're going to do. I think it's going to be a, an entirely new battle. But we're just going to have to wait and see. It's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out. Like I said, 9.5 out of 10 episode. This is a really, really solid episode. You have to see change in Oliver that we haven't seen before. And hey, maybe the monitor is a good guy. Oh, also one more thing. Uh, at the end of the episode when he's talking to Lila, he says, How long have you done this? And she says, A while. Which just further proves my theory that she has been harbinger all along like or preseason one even that because she says oh it's been the hardest thing ever to lie to johnny to lie to him and the way she says it just makes it seem like it's been years you know like a long long time not just something that happened last week or last month or last year even you know i i, I would imagine some time when oliver's on the island or uh when they were i'm guessing the monitor probably came to her when they were in iraq like 10 12 like how long ago was that but it was before season one so before 2012 and he probably came to her and was like hey this is more important than anything else and uh you know at first you know i think i think she would have believed it because monitor has a way of kind of persuading people just like he put oliver and laurel into this dream for this episode to, to teach him a lesson right i bet he did the same thing with lila all those years ago i mean it would only make sense Monitor is a really powerful person, and he knows how to get what he wants. So, yeah, definitely going to be interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Comment down below if you guys have any theories on Crisis on Infinite Earths or Arrow Season 8, and I'll make sure to respond to them, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.